Okay, here we have our planting site. Um, this one was a little easier to select. The, the client had a, uh, a request for a certain tree, and the nursery I use has the tree. They had three of them, and I selected one, which I'll show you later on. We've removed a spruce tree that was growing here, and we're going to replace it with a, uh, a maple tree that has exfoliating bark, and um, we uh, we made some eco art nurse logs out of the. Um, there we go. We made some eco art nurse logs out of the. Uh, trunk of the tree we removed and then we're going to try to going to try to tuck this tree right in here somehow moving it a little bit away we do have wires over there so we'll try to try to prepare a planting site in here get the tree in. Next I'll show you the trees and the one that I selected. Okay, all right, it's uh, April 5th, 2009. Okay, so here we started to prepare our planting site, not making it too deep so that it's, we don't want to backfill if it's too deep. So we have a, we have a pretty well prepared planting site here. Any roots from the Pyrus japonicas that we're hitting, we're, we're actually pruning. And, um, and uh, so we have our site prepared for now. And we're going to go pick up the tree now and bring it over. Okay. Okay, here we are at the nursery, and we have the paper bark maple. Um, this one here is more bushy like, and uh, doesn't have pretty much the single stem. So we're going to pass on this one here. And now over here, we have the same one here with a little bit more single stem framework. There's three trees to choose from of this variety that the client wants. And then we have this one here with this framework. But I, I selected this one. I think we can select this one. They're going to want a compact tree. This is a slow growing uh, compact tree. This is the one we selected. Now we're, they're going to pull it out with a, it's, it's been in the ground here, they're going to pull it out with a, with a spade and then uh, we're going to prune the roots so that we get a good response from the tree with new roots developing in new spatial positions. But this is a tree we're selecting and we're going to uh, wait for John to come over and pop it out with the tree spade. Okay, and here they're set up. Here they're set up with the. Uh, here they're set up with the basket. Okay, we're going to put it in, transport it. And while they're putting it into the basket with the machine, we're going to get in there. We're going to prune the roots. Okay. Here we go with the tree spade.
Okay, here we are at the site, and we're digging down in the digging down in the root ball, trying to find out where the roots are coming off the trunk. We have our site prepared, and we're going to. Uh, I think we're pretty good with depth. And we're going to cut the wire basket off and take the burlap off and check out the roots. Um, okay. Okay, now we're back filling in. We had to take most of the root ball off. The tree was buried in the, in the burlap pretty deep. And then we're going to go around and we're going to mud it in with the mudder. And... Due to the fact we had to disturb so much of the root ball, we are going to stake it temporarily, probably no more than a month, until it'll be able to be released. Okay, and we're going to mud it in. Okay, here we are, and we're now we're now mudding in the uh, the tree pushing the air pockets out with the mudder, which is just a piece of PVC pipe with the uh, attached to a garden hose. And the water pushes out the air pockets and muds it in real good. And then we'll stake this one, kind of feather in it. And uh, it should be good. And we moved it back a little bit from the wires and then we were gonna take a, a branch off of the um, a couple of branches off the Japanese maple sometime in the future um, to allow some more clearance for this tree. So you have to push it more over here, up here like that right there. Okay, and then um, so we'll get it straightened out here. Okay, we've placed the Eco Art Nurse Logs back and we've mulched the tree. Keeping the mulch back at least six inches. We staked it with a broad belt-like flexible material which will allow the tree to sway, which we're gonna to try to remove in a month once the soil settles. And uh, so there we have the tree.